Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. I uh, finally got the SRX100 in today after UPS uh, couldn't find it after it hit their terminal in my town. So I've got it all cabled up and I'll go ahead and press the power button and we will get that process started. Uh, I found out that the Cisco console cable works just great. Uh, set it up at 9600, 981. I'd seen some documentation that said it used higher, but it seemed to have automatically figured that out. You're watching right now the, the boot up sequence as it goes through. I did have to uh, do a password recovery on this box in going uh, on Google. I found several different options. And apparently, I'm guessing because of the code version that this box is on, which looks to be 11.4 from, from what I'm seeing, it was a little different. It said, hold the uh, reset config button until the status light goes green. Well, for those of us that are color challenged to be able to see the difference between green and yellow, uh, I finally saw that the alarm light had gone on seeing no further activity i then powered the box off since i didn't have the login credentials from the uh, party on ebay that i bought it from i could have probably gotten it from them but i thought well this would be a perfect chance to learn something about getting in to uh, the juniper device that i've got and doing password recovery which we'll probably all have to do at some point so once i powered the box back up it went through a, a boot up process very similar to this. It checked its own file system, then mounted the image, and then went through the rest of a normal sequence. Now, what you'll see here towards the end is you'll see it reference a system name of Amnesiac. I'm just learning this process, but this looks to be when it literally has no configuration, and it that's its way of, of telling you. Uh, then you can type root with no password, and that's when the screen kind of, it, it's, the best way to describe it is it, like, it loses its sense of that it's on a VT100 or ANSI. I've tried several different terminal configurations, and it, it's, you'll see the, uh, the prompt just show up in the middle of what's already on the screen. I'm going to work on that one, see if I can find a way around it, but at least wanted to go ahead and get this posted tonight so that you could see what the boot up process would look like on a device uh, that was either brand new from the factory or one that you've done password recovery on. You'll find more on what I've uh, gone through with this so far and what I'm looking at and doing some terms of the studying on uh, my website at www.ronnutter.com. Thank you for listening and for reading my website.